Miss Tavy, um, what are you talking about today? What do you want to discuss today? You know, I, I didn't even want to talk because of the fact, you know, my husband, I'm still grieving my husband. I can't even, you know, that this may be the reason why I have not spoken before, but it has become necessary for me to do this. Our clients are complaining, past and present. And I, I know why they are, because the herbs that they're getting from the office that my husband and I have created, and the products that we've created, it's no longer our products there. The imposters that are in that office, and, and uh, they stole my office. They have, um, they have fraudulently um, signed my husband's name and, and uh, send it to the trademark office. And they said now they own my business. I have nothing to do with that office. There is no product that I make that comes out of there. Um, and the people are complaining. And I know why, because the the original compounds that we have standardized over the years, they do not have it. But they still insist that they are going to own my husband's business. The bill, the, the, this business, my husband and I uh, started, you know, a few years ago, years ago, we started this business. Now, how is it possible that folks could just come and own the business because my husband died? They didn't even wait until he was even buried well before they went and, and uh, you know, applied for the business as their own. Do they know how many hours that went into this business between my husband and I and even our daughter? And now, why is it that they now own my business? And what really uh, struck me is that this morning I found out that they are actually trying to steal the names of the products that we created. The very names that we created for our products, they are trying to trademark that as well. Well, it's not going to happen, you folks, you imposters at the office. People need to know that you all are thieves. You all created some, uh, some uh, scene scenario that I stole money. I didn't steal anything because I'll tell you what, money does not bother me. So all that scenario you created and said that I stole money, you can check my accounts, you can check where I live. I don't have no money. You all are the thieves. You imposters that I hired you all out of, you know, uh, compassion, you know, to come work for us. And now this is what you're all doing because I, because I was still doing our continuous research in the Caribbean. You waited until my husband died and fraudulently signed paperwork. That is not my husband's signature on that paperwork that gave you the right to own my business. The office that me and my husband started. What was the name of the office that you Dr. Sabi's office, LLC. That is our office that we started. What's the name of the office is fraudulently And now the fraudulent, uh, it's because we've built the office into a corporation and now uh, it's now Dr. Sabi Cell Food or Dr. Sabi's uh, Cell Food, Natural Vegetation Cell Food. And now you've stolen our office. You waited until my husband died and I'm out of the country continuing our research in the Caribbean. And when I went to my office, you wouldn't even open the door for me because you have stolen my company, you imposters. Pablo, I remember when you came and I hired you. And I remember the day we fired you. How is it possible that you and Jenny now, who, were no, who weren't with the company, is now the owner of my company? I remember when we installed the cameras because we were suspecting you guys. And Jenny quit because she didn't want the cameras on her. Now, what happened? 
how, wh when did she become uh, the president of my office? While I was doing my research in the Caribbean? But I'll tell you what. This is going to court. You are going to answer for that uh, fraudulent um, signature that you made for my husband. Because I have known my husband since 1980. And that's not his signature. Oh, come on now. I was going to just leave this alone. I really was. Because I've, I have my company in, in, in the Caribbean as well. Dr. Sebi, the Mrs. Products. I have, you know, all these companies and I was going to leave this alone because I already know by the herbs that you are using, it will eventually um, devaluate in, it itself. And it's doing that. And I'm tired of the clients calling. I'm tired of them telling me that they're not receiving the efficacy of the products they used to, especially our past uh, clients. Stop what you are doing. Please stop. Because this will go further. Thank you. You know, there will be more uh, talks on this as I find out the legalities of what's going on. Are people getting scared still with her people? And, you know, one of the main reasons why I said I must address this is because here's what, I'm not going to call names. There are couples who were cured of herpes. Another couple, they referred some couples here in America for, uh, you know, the product they've been cured of, herpes. Here's what happened. The husband said he wants Dr. Sebi sell food products. And yes, but the wife said, I am going to take the wife's products that her friends were cured in Grenada. Mm -hmm. 